All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is uh, Saturday the 29th, and uh, I got some interesting news for you kids. Um, I am going down to Venice Beach to do my last tattoo at that shop. I'm going to uh, do one appointment today, and then I'm going to pack everything up and take off and get out of here um, for multiple reasons. Uh, one of the main reasons is I mean, to be terribly honest, the last few weeks, I haven't been really taking uh, this specific shop very seriously. Um, I've been kind of bummed out, to be honest, because I, I don't know, I was under the understanding that during the summertime, tourists and all, that it would be an extremely busy, extremely high capacity shop, and that's why I was willing to drive an hour down there in traffic every day, and so on and so forth, and it's just, it's just not that. Um, there's some days that, you know, I, we're supposed to be there at 10 a.m., which I'll be straight with you probably never once. In fact, I'm sure of it. Um, we're supposed to be there at 10 a.m., though, and work until uh, until like 9, 9.30. And uh, my issue with this is is that this is 11 and a half hour day at least. Plus my 48 minute drive there, plus my 48 minute drive back, you add all that up and you know, it's upwards around 13 and a half hours a day. I I don't wake up every day to work 13 and a half hours a day. If I was making a thousand dollars a day, fuck yeah. You know what I mean? I'd consider it, but I don't make a thousand dollars a day. I don't even make $500 a day. In fact, not a single day since I've been at the beach have I made $500, uh, which is completely ridiculous. Wow, dude just got hit on a skateboard. Anyways, it's completely ridiculous and out of control and it's just it's, It ain't helping me at all. That's for sure, man. You know what I mean? Like I just got bills and parking tickets and shit stacking up and ain't none of this shit I mean, you know what I mean? Like To be honest, I'm barely breaking even and not even even because I can't even pay these goddamn parking tickets and it's just like I feel like the odds are stacked against me in this particular situation. So um, I'm just gonna be real with you. I've got, I drive a Mercedes. I drive, a, it's it's an older Mercedes. It's like a 98. And uh, and it, it just, I've already blown one tire um, and haven't been able to replace it. I'm still riding on the spare, uh, spare for my trunk. You know, I, <laughs> it's just costing me too much money to make this happen every day, five days a week, between the gas money the extra time in my day, uh, the the fact that everything is like three dollars more expensive down at the beach. So if I don't buy cigarettes before I get to the beach, that shit's uh, you know twelve, thirteen dollars. Um, just simply eating lunch down at the beach is rather expensive. And to be honest, these these things they all stack up and they all add up. And at the end of the week, honestly, it's just not worth my time. Um, I'm just not making enough money to, to make it worth my while. I love this shop. Don't get me wrong. I love Ozzy. I love Nick. I love all the guys I work with down there. They're all fucking awesome, really good people. Um, but uh, I'm under the assumption that most of them probably live closer than I do because, or make a lot more money than I do because they've been there longer and they just, um, it's more worthwhile to them. Um, I know for a fact one of the gentlemen that works at the shop lives here in Hollywood. Um, I day by day wonder, you know what I mean? Just how worthwhile it is to him, especially, um, when he's like driving or taking the bus or whatever he does to get to work. Um, it's, that's definitely, it definitely becomes trying, you know, and it's a lot. So, uh, so yeah, so that's the dilly, yo. I'm going to drive down to Venice. I'm going to do this, uh, this tattoo on this gentleman and knock it out. And then I'm gonna pack my stuff up and bring my dumb ass back here to Hollywood. Um, I don't know, sometimes I feel like I'm just an idiot. You know, I do things for too long hoping that they're gonna pan out and they just don't. Um, I have a tendency of holding on to things or getting comfortable. And this is another one of those situations, you know. Um, I I really think that it's it's kind of ridiculous of me that I have a tattoo shop literally across the street from my house. And, uh, and I've never tried working there. I think that's kind of kind of dumb on my part. You know what I mean? I believe like that at least deserves a shot. <laughs> um, 
but it's just it's a trip man i uh, i can i can just say any artists out there that watch these or listen to these vlogs that have paid attention like here's the one thing you should know if you've never been to the west coast and you're from the east coast is that it's a different world it's a totally different world you know what i mean um you got guys out here that are that are self-taught that can barely pull a straight line but you know they've been living here for 20 years so they've got clientele for days and you know people aren't married to their artwork they're they're married to their uh to their personality and getting a shitty tattoo from somebody with a cool personality or somebody you, you look up to or you think is a rad person uh can go a long way and uh, especially when you, you grew up with them or you've known them a long time and they give you the homeboy hookup or this, that, or the other. It just is what it is. And honestly, only living here five years, I have a small clientele that I've built. Um, it's hard to build clientele here because the people are constantly coming and going. You know what I mean? Even the people that live here that you think are going to be your regular client, they live here for three years max and then take off back to the East Coast or back up north or to Colorado or Portland or wherever it might be. Truth of the matter is, man, it's a lot of fun to live here and it's it's beautiful and it's really cool, but it is so goddamn expensive, you know, that you pretty much anybody I've known that does a normal job has needed at least two jobs to get by. At least. Most people I know have three jobs. Most people that do a normal job I know have three jobs. So, nonetheless, all that aside, it's been nice chatting with y'all and, uh, the vlogs will pick up and continue as soon as I'm re-employed. Hell, who knows? I might even do a couple from home at the home studio a few times while I'm uh, while I'm hanging in there. But on a lighter note, um, it's not all that big of a deal. You know, I'm going to miss the boys. I'm not going to miss the commute. I'm not going to miss the stress. I'm not going to miss getting up that early to go to a tattoo shop. And I'm definitely, definitely not going to miss the fact that um, I just... I just I just bake during the summertime in that booth that I work out of. It's no wonder when I came to work there that nobody was working out of it because it's fucking miserable most of the time. But anyways, uh, I hope you guys have a great day. I'm going to go do this tattoo and close up shop. And when I get back, uh, me and my girlfriend and some good friends of ours are going to go to a Taking Back Sunday concert downtown. And, uh, and I'm just going to wash my brain of this whole thing and keep it moving. So... You guys have a great night. Take care. Have a great day. Um, I'll holler. Peace.
All right, y'all, so uh, that's a wrap on that motherfucker. Um, that was officially the last tattoo I'll, I'll do at Venice Beach. It was, uh, it was an interesting experience, and it was cool, you know, going in today, knocking that piece out, and then just being able to get in the car and drive away. After all, I'm trying to go see Taken Back Sunday tonight. Damn it. Uh, odds are they probably wouldn't let me off to do that shit anyway, so it's probably for the best that uh, I'm not working there anymore. But nonetheless, uh, I'll digress on that point, and let's just get down to the tattoo. Tattoo was uh, was a piece, a piece of, of flash that I've tattooed a couple times. Um, it kind of has a certain type of draw to it. I try to switch it up a tiny bit every time I do it, um, so that each individual kind of gets their own tattoo. But there's only so much you can switch up on that piece before it doesn't resemble the original piece. So. You gotta kind of keep it legit. You can play with the pedals and uh, and whatnot a little bit, but you just you just can't get too crazy um, with with redesigning it. The the black and white balance, the open skin versus the uh, the the black. It's very important to keep that that balance there and to keep it um, all cohesive. If you mess that up, then it just doesn't have the appeal that it's supposed to have. Um, the cool thing is is that the individual that was getting tattooed. Uh, this was the first time I've tattooed him as a client and he wants to get a lot more work done I'm the first person to have uh, tattooed him since he's moved here from Portland and uh, Due to that fact he he expressed to me that he wants to get a lot more work done and a lot on on the regular and He actually lives in Koreatown, which is right by where the fuck I live so um in keeping with that concept, um, I think I'm gonna end up probably tattooing back on Melrose or uh, somewhere on Hollywood Boulevard again. Hope so. Um, there's literally six shops less than walking distance from my house. One shop less than a block from my house. Uh, ideally, I'd like to go over there and start to work. I know there's a couple of good kids down there and um, you know, they could use the help of being around somebody who does a little bit cleaner tattoo, maybe pick up some pointers. Uh, maybe I can um, bounce them off the ropes and, uh, you know, get them into shape, help, help them out a little bit. Maybe even get them painting some flash. You never know. We'll see. Um, but I've met the guys that work at the shop closest to me a few times, and they're all, they're all pretty, pretty straight dudes. So um, I'm going to go down and talk to them. We'll see what's popping. The good thing about L.A. is there's no shortage of tattoo shops. And, uh, and I haven't worked at all of them yet, so I think we're still okay. Uh, nonetheless, this will be the end of the vlogs for a day or two. Maybe even three, I don't know, it depends. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I might end up bringing somebody in and doing, uh, doing a tattoo or two at my private studio at the house. I don't know, we'll see, it really just depends. Um, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlogs uh, from Venice Beach. From now on, they're gonna be less beachy. Uh, with a little less booty and a little a little more a uh, little more tattoo um, So that being said, I hope you guys have a great day. Take care. Thanks for following and I really appreciate the subscriptions and whatnot This isn't the end. I promise I'll pick up right where I left off Later peace and chicken grease. I'm out